I've been using these Moe's Zigbee switches for over a year now, and they have been nothing but a infuriating, intolerable mess the whole time. This is just some of the batteries that these, just two of these switches have burned through in a matter of months. And that's ignoring their constant lack of connectivity. You'd press a button, the little light on the button would flash to show you that it received that button input, but nothing would happen. You'd have to hit it again to either wake it up and do the action you wanted, or you would find out that it was just taking its sweet time and the light that it controls would turn on and then immediately off again and so you need to press it for a third time just to get the thing, you know, your lights to turn on. It was infuriating. So I've put my foot down and said no more. And that is where these come in. These are the Philips Hue Smart Dimmer Switch V2s and they are a very, very welcomed improvement. Before I get too far into these things, it's worth covering what the hell I'm talking about here. This is part of my smart home series, so if you haven't seen the other videos, I would highly recommend watching through the playlist and coming back to this one, as there's a fair bit of terminology and jargon that I'll be using that is explained earlier in the series. With that said, let's jump into this. As a short TLDR, Zigbee is an open source smart home connectivity standard that acts as a mesh network to let your gadgets talk to each other. But it's a separate network to Wi-Fi, meaning they can't just talk to the internet without a hub of sorts. I use Home Assistant as my hub, and that's what controls the various devices that I have here. I use smart switches like these mostly to control smart light bulbs, Philips Hue bulbs specifically, although especially when it comes to these scene changer style switches, you can have them do anything you want. You want to have them close your robo blinds, lock your smart door lock, please never buy one of those, or turn up your central heating, they can do that. They're rather handy. So what do I mean by types? Well, this Hue uh, Smart Dimmer is what you'd mostly call a scene changer style switch. That is to say, it's just a remote. This sends a command over Zigbee and the hub manages what to do with that command. There's no wiring here. You don't connect power and a light circuit to this. It is a battery powered remote. That's it. If you just search for a Zigbee switch, you're more likely to find a wall-mounted light switch replacement. Those are powered and send power to something like a light bulb. They replace the switch you already have in your wall, although it is worth noting that they're normally quite deep. They're normally 30 or so, or actually 35 or so millimeters deep, so uh, whereas at least in my uh, old house here, my standard wall boxes are only 12 millimeters deep, and while you can use spacers depending on the location, generally you want to swap it for a deeper wall box. There's also a few subtypes within that style too, namely whether or not they require a neutral wire. Since they are powered by the incoming supply that's meant for the lights, normally you need a live and neutral to complete the circuit and be powered, but many light switches are switched live or, li uh, or neutral only, and so many switches or wall boxes don't have live and neutral coming into them, and so that wouldn't work. Luckily, you don't. Uh, there are some that don't need a neutral wire, and they generally advertise that fact as well. There are also faceless switches, basically Zigbee-controlled relays that can take an input from your regular switch faces, so you don't have to replace anything visibly, but that can also take commands from Zigbee. This is great if you want to keep your regular switch faces, but you still want to add some level of smart control. There are also some smart switches that will actually talk to smart bulbs if you configure it for that. The thing with smart bulbs is that they need to remain powered to be remotely controllable, but a regular light switch just cuts power off to the bulb. I mean, certain smart switches, I think Akara make a few of them, can actually keep the power on to a smart bulb while just sending a command over Zigbee to turn them off. 
That is great, as it means you can still wake the bulbs up remotely, say via your phone and an app, while still having a switch on your wall that can actually turn it on and off as well. That's normally called a decoupled or detached mode. Okay, so that's some context. Now let me show you why I like these Hue dimmer switches. First off is the physical. While these do have a base plate that you can stick or screw to your walls or really any flat surface you want, the actual controller is only magnetically attached, meaning it's an actually proper remote. You can take this anywhere you want inside your Zigbee network and it will still work just fine, but it always has a place to live back on your uh, the, the base plate, you know, on your wall or wherever you put it. I'm not sure how much use I would get out of that feature in reality, but I do quite like having the option. Second is the button layout. Well, I think I would prefer a, a blank, sort of stickerable set of buttons. Philips clearly intends this to be used as a lighting dimmer controller, and so the inclusion of the screen printed labels makes a lot of sense. What you might not realize is that there are actually four buttons here. You have power, brightness up, brightness down, but also the hue button at the bottom. That means the whole front face is buttons, and it means that you essentially have space for the expected controls, plus a spare button at the bottom for you to do whatever you want with it. The third is the software side. Here is a list of all of the button press options that this thing exposes to Home Assistant. You have single tap, double tap, triple tap, and quadruple tap, and long press for all four buttons. That is five actions per button, or a total of what, 20 different commands that you could have this thing do. Maybe a quadruple tap on the, the hue button is your panic mode, you know, turn off all the lights, lock all the smart locks, don't buy one, uh, you know, shuts all your blinds. Maybe a, a long press of the power button turns on every light in the room at full brightness. Maybe double tapping the, the brightness up button sets the lights that are normally connected to it to max brightness, but single tapping only steps it up by 10%. The possibilities are kind of endless. There's so much room for activities. The level of customizability paired with the fact that, at least for my relatively short amount of time testing them so far, they have been perfectly reliable and that they use a standard CR2032 coin cell that you can buy at Tesco and the included battery is meant to last for like three years on a charge. I'd say that I'm rather uh, happy with my purchase. They're also decently priced. I paid £18 a piece for these, which really isn't too bad. Of course, I'm not necessarily using these in the standard or sort of expected way. I'm pairing these with my Zigbee dongle connected to Home Assistant, so it isn't exactly what Philips had in mind, and it might not be how you're going to use it either, but I am really happy with these. The form factor, the customizability, the reliability, and the battery all make it a welcomed improvement over the Moe's scene switches that I was already using and have been using for over a year now. Perhaps when connecting you know, those to a hub that they expect you to use, maybe they'll work better, who knows, but uh, for now I'm definitely happy with my purchase. One final thing, if you do pick these uh, Hue switches up, uh, it's worth knowing how you set these up, especially with Home Assistant. All the guides that I found were for not this model, so long story short, you take the battery cover off and there is a small hole in the back with the text printed or molded in called uh, it says setup. You hold that button down for I think like 10 seconds and the little LED that's above the power icon will flash, I think, like green, red, green, or something like that, and then uh, be pulsing orange. Um, that is when you can then connect it to Home Assistant through the Zigbee Home Automation uh, you know, add-in, uh, and then it just connects, you uh, set it up, then you can use automations or Node Red or whatever you want to do to configure what each of the buttons and the myriad of options 
will do for you. So that is a look at sort of Zigbee smart switches and these Philips Hue dimmer ones that I, at least currently anyway, would highly recommend. I will leave a link to them in the description if you are interested. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon. You can also check out plenty of other videos on the end cards. I'll leave the whole smart home playlist up there when they pop up in a second. And if you want to support me and the channel, you can do so through YouTube, Patreon, pick up a hoodie or t-shirt like this one, or a load of other ones I designed myself, or even pick up my own hardware at osrtt.com. Otherwise, that's kind of it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next video.